Welcome to St. Agnes Meditech EMR Review. Here at St. Agnes, Meditech is used as a software for our electronic health record. In this session, we will review basic navigation and functions. This includes menu and data displays, color symbols, footer navigation buttons, selecting a record, visit icons, and general functions. User access is requested through your department at the time of credentialing is completed. You will be given a login ID and temporary password. To log into Meditech, you will find the Meditech icon on the desktop of computers in the St. Agnes clinical area. Double click on the icon that looks like the one seen here. This will open a login screen. Enter your login ID and password. Note, you will be required to change your password every 90 days. Let's begin by reviewing how to find a patient record in the Meditech EMR. The EMR provides several lists to help you quickly find a patient record via the record selection menu. The record selection menu also allows you to print rounds reports that list your patient's records with an admitted status. My admitted. My menu option lists records associated with the provider using the EMR. For records to be associated with you, you must be the attending, admitting, primary care, family, or other provider. Admitted group menu option. This lists records that are associated with the providers in your provider group. For records to be associated with your group, someone in your group must be listed as the attending, admitting, primary care, family, or other provider. Cover. Cover is for any other provider of record and lists records for the other selected provider or providers. Emergency Department Menu lists records of individuals assigned to Emergency Services Department at St. Agnes Hospital. These records are associated with your provider group. To view a list of records associated with you, click the My option under the Emergency Department label. To view a list of records associated with your provider group, click the Group option under the Emergency Department label. Other Department Menu option. The Other Menu option includes records that are not found in the Admitted or Emergency Department record list. This includes records associated with you or your provider group. For records to be associated with you, you must be assigned as the attending, admitting, primary care, family, or other. To view the list of records associated with you, click the My option under the Other label. To view a list of records associated with your provider group, click the Group option. Records will remain on this list for seven days after a visit or after discharge if the patients are discharged from this facility. Recent Menu Option the Recent Menu option lists records that you have viewed in the last 14 days. Records appear in chronological order by the date you last viewed them. After viewing a record to resort the list so the most recently viewed record appears at the top of the list, click the Recent Access option again. Each of the record selection screens displays a maximum of 75 records per screen. Each screen has Previous Page and Next Page buttons that allow you to view the previous and next set of 75 records if you have viewed that many. Personal list. The personal list option alphabetically lists records on your personal list. If you are a primary care physician, your personal list is a convenient method of tracking individuals. You can add and remove records from this list. The EMR does not automatically add records to or remove them from your personal list. On the Visit Selection menu, one of two options appear, Add to Personal List or Remove from Personal List. On the menu, if the record is on your personal list and Remove from your personal list option appears. If the record is not on your personal list, the Add to Personal option list appears. To use this menu option, you must first select a facility, St. Agnes. The Any Location option. After choosing the facility of St. Agnes Hospital, a list of locations in the facility appears. The list includes locations for individuals with admitted status followed by their locations in alphabetical order. 
After locating a location, select a record from the alphabetical list by last name that you wish to view. The Any Record option allows you to identify patients via several methods based on the information you enter. The system searches the patient database for patients that match the information you have entered in the available fields and displays a list of the patients that you can select. On the Identify Any Record window, the system requires you to enter information from one of the following fields, name, social security number, medical record number, account number, EMR number. Entering optional search criteria like date of birth, sex, and mother's name will help you narrow your search. Click on the patient name and date of birth to help you select the correct patient. When you access a record where the visit is not associated with you, a warning box will pop up. If you are not listed as a physician of record, you can select sign up as attending or sign up as consulting. This will add your name of, as a physician of record and add the patient to my admitted list and the rounds report. Overview of Rounds Report. Use this report to create a rounds report that lists the records of admitted accounts associated with you, with your provider group, or for coverage physicians. You must be the attending admitting primary care family or emergency department or other provider for individuals receiving care in order for them to appear on my rounds report. Outpatients appear on the rounds report only if they have been assigned a room and a bed. Select SHA rounds for the report format. Select list only. Then select the facility, SAH for St. Agnes Hospital. After you have done this the first time, it will default to those selections. Overview of the new results menu option. The new results menu option lists visits that have new results. This allows the provider to quick access for lab, mic, blood bank, path, and ITS procedures and test results for orders in which the user is the ordering physician. The new results screen displays a maximum of 75 visits per screen. The new results option is magenta colored when you have not viewed new results. After you have viewed the results, the menu option changes to blue. There are many types of visits you will see displayed when viewing the EMR. These icons are a way of telling what type of visit it might be. A hospital bed with a green dot is the active admitted patient visit. A clipboard with a green dot is an active recurring visit, for example. Selecting visits. This graph shows the selections on the visit screen. To open the chart, click anywhere inside the white box for the visit you wish to view. The current visit is marked with a green dot. When the EMR opens, you will see a screen that looks something like this. Any menu panel that has red text on a light blue background indicates that there is information in that area that you have not yet viewed. For example, the panel for blood bank is red, new information. The panel for pathology is blue, indicating no new information. The EMR screen has three major sections, the data frame, the menu frame, and the patient demographic information. The menu frame contains available options, and the data frame contains the actual information. The EMR menu frame appears on the far right hand side of the screen and contains all the panel and processing options available to you. Available options appear with blue lettering. The option on the main menu allows you to select a panel. To select a panel, click the menu option of that panel. The main menu also allows you to select different records or visits 
and access patient documentation. The data frame. The EMR displays information in the data frame on screens called panels. Some panels include view selection, panel selection, and navigation buttons that allow you to customize the information you wish to view. The use of colors and symbols in the EMR panels and menu frames is an effective means of indicating the areas to where you can navigate with your mouse. Different colors and symbols also alert you to the existence of new information or of abnormal information regard requiring your attention. This graphic shows how the EMR uses color to indicate navigation options and the existence of new information. The dark blue text on a light blue background means that there is data available. Dark blue text on a white background indicates the panel you are currently viewing. Lightly shaded blue text on a light blue background indicates that there's no data available for that particular panel. This graphic shows how the EMR uses colors and symbols to indicate abnormal results and values and the existence of comments and associ that are associated with the results. Navigation buttons located in the footer. Use the navigation buttons on the panel screen to view information in chronological order. You can use the back button to return to previous panels or screens. You can use the earlier or later buttons to view information on panels that include tables to display information, for example, lab. This graphic illustrates the navigation buttons that appear in the EMR found in the footer. General function buttons. There are several general function buttons found on the lower right hand side. The reference button, which is the globe, opens user specific web links. The printer button allows you to print a report. The suspend button should be used to lock your session if you are going to walk away from the computer. The help button launches context specific help files. Thank you for reviewing the EMR and